There are warships that are forgotten beyond the pages of history. There are warships whose construction influenced an era of naval engineering, whose battles would become legendary and whose fate would determine the entire course of a war. And here you will see and remember their stories and how they made history. This is Anchored in History. On April 5th, 1940, Admiral William Whitworth on board the battle cruiser HMS Renown, escorted by the destroyers Glowworm, Greyhound, Hyperion and Hero, sailed from Scarpa Flow to provide cover for Operation Wilfred, which consisted of mining the Norwegian inner leads to force cargo ships out of Norwegian territorial waters and disrupt the German iron ore traffic. Two days earlier, Hitler had launched an amphibious invasion of Norway consisting of six warship assault groups which would have captured strategic positions along the Norwegian coastlines and saw Narvik as the primary objective that would allow the Germans to launch operations in the Atlantic and challenge the Royal Navy's home fleet. Despite the fact that British intelligence was aware of these movements, the Admiralty refused to believe it and did not respond until it was already too late to stop the invasion. During the night between April 5th and April 6th, Due to bad weather conditions, HMS Renown lost contact with its escorting destroyers. At 0620, HMS Glowworm, under the command of Lieutenant Commander Gerard Broadmead Roop, regained contact with the Renown and reported that a crew member had fallen into the sea. She gained permission to search for the lost crewman, but by altering her course, she again lost contact with the Renown. Later that day, having failed to find the crew member and unable to regain contact with the Renown, Roop decided to head back to Scarpa. In the evening, the home fleet's commander-in-chief ordered him to head to position 67 north, 10 east, where the cruiser HMS Birmingham was expected to rendezvous with the Renown and her escorting destroyers. At 07.59 hours on the morning of April 8th, Roop, while steering the glowworm to regain contact with the Renown, sighted the German destroyers Hans Ludemann and Bernd von Arnim, which were part of the Trondheim salt group. He proceeded to engage the Hans Ludemann, which turned away and drew the glowworm towards the heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper, commanded by Captain Helmut Heyer, who spotted her at 0950 hours and opened fire at a range of 9,200 yards. At this point, Roop tried to make smoke and disengage, but the radar on the Hipper had a firm solution on the glowworm and her guns were still able to score accurate hits. Roop then fired all 10 torpedoes at the Hipper but her captain was able to avoid all of them by steaming towards the glowworm, keeping the bow towards her and minimising the chances of being hit. His ship on fire taken on water and with two guns out of action, Roop made one last signal and decided to steer towards the Admiral Hipper at full speed, managing to successfully ram her on a starboard bow just above the anchor, extensively damaging it and causing the ship to take on 500 tonnes of water. Wrecked, on fire and flooding, the glowworm finally sank at 10.24 hours, taking Roop with her along with 110 men. Before heading back for repairs, the Hipper managed to rescue one officer and 37 crewmen, seven of whom later died from their wounds. Roop's bravery and sacrifice were unknown until five years later, when the 31 survivors of the glowworm were liberated from their prison camp and told the world of how the glowworm fought until it could fight no more. Lieutenant Commander Gerard Broadmead Roop was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross. <laughs> 